Alright, welcome to another episode of our Guild of War playthrough in Factions, not Prophecies, Factions. I got it this time. Um, I thought we were done with the Jade Sea. I was kind of ready to move on to the next uh, primary quest. But I really want to get my faction up, uh, Luxon faction up. I only need 35,000 more faction. It sounds like a lot, but I think... Um, if I do all of the Jade Sea quests that I've picked up, um, plus all of the Luxon Blessing, uh, faction farming that we'll do on the way, I think I can get close to the 100k that we need. Uh, that's my goal. Either way, you'll get a look at some of the quests that are around this area. Um, assuming I don't have any trouble with it. Also, one thing I noticed is, like, my survivor title track is pretty high. I guess I've gone a long way without, you know, dying. Um, so that'll be cool to keep going up. Now that i said it, I'll probably die immediately. Uh, ooh, another quest. 5,000 experience. This is a big one. Uh, oh, I remember this one. I think... I think this is a I don't think I necessarily want to do this one though because I kind of remember this is like a farming a really good farming uh quest well, actually I don't think I want to grab that one I think uh it spawns unique enemies that are very farmable for a 5-5 mesmer I might try to do that later uh so yeah I don't want to do that yet uh, if I remember it correctly might be wrong about that anyway let's grab our henchmen i'm running energy surge nuker i just want to i just want to do as much damage i want to see those numbers pile up uh so i'm gonna need some, some assistance some protections and then i'm gonna need some interrupts as well should be good let's go i'm also running ritualist as a secondary class because it's the only profession that we did not get an elite skill from. I'm going to grab my blessing. Thank you. You know, this blessing might be another reason why I'm very, like, hard to kill these days. It gives you three health regeneration, 25 maximum health as long as I'm in this area. Makes me tough to deal with. Uh, so, first one we're doing, Attack the Kurzix. Uh, <laughs> that's not the one I wanted. Oh, uh, why did we go out this way? Is there another one close by? Oh, no. I need to go by Gala Hatchery, actually. All right. We wasted some money. Okay. I can do this one. Night Raiders. Night Riders. No. Night Raiders. Oh, I forgot there's a... um. There's the ranger boss here. I'll have to grab that some other time. It'll always be here to grab. Ooh, look at that damage. Love running mind rack and double E surge like this. This does crazy, crazy damage. They're grouped up, so I'm gonna put some chaos storm on them. Oh yeah. They tried to run away, but they just, they just perished anyway. All right. They even have some decent hex removal, so this build is pretty good against them. It just does flat damage, so nothing for them to disenchant. Oh, I don't really want to go this way. This coral hurts. Your movement is reduced by 10, and you take 25 damage each time you're moving. Ooh, that's, that hurts. It's smart. Chaos Storm is really good against those guys. It does all the damage to their spirits. So just a waste. A waste of uh, grouping them together like that. Their fault. It's not my, pr not my problem. Uh, can I... I guess I need to loop around here. Nice. I've never been over this way. Some good exploring action. Hoping I can find a ritualist boss. Yeah. 
easy mode. How are we doing on the survivor title check? Look at that. I already got a lot of faction. Can't remember what I started with, but already getting quite a bit. I guess I can't go up that way. Uh, I'm going the wrong way then. I should go around this way. It looks like it's faster. Or can I go up there somehow? Maybe not. Hmm. Okay, we're exploring. Is that turtle alive? What is that? No, that's not a turtle. It's like a abalone or something. Creepy. Really cool design though. They just build scaffolding on the side of that shell. I guess that, that snail thing is not really bothered by it. Oh, back through the coral. Any bosses? No bosses? That's where we get the most Luxon action points from, or from bosses, so... Kind of eager for battles here. Balthazar's aura. So these are smiters. Smiter monks. Take the gold. Bosses up here. No, it's a bunch of Nagas. Oh, wait, there's a boss. Siska Scalewind. Oh, it's a Mesmer boss. I'm willing to guess I already have this elite skill, though. I don't know what it is. Oops, I accidentally arcane echoed my energy tab, which is not bad. I can get tons of energy that way. Look at that quadruple knockdown by our earth elementalist. Great job. Oh, you can steal energy from the spirit. I didn't know that. I accidentally targeted the spirit with energy tab. Oh, got some more enemies. Let's take some of these guys out. Battle's going on a little too long, if you ask me. Good. Interrupt him. Take him out. I'll let him escape. Got him. 125 Lux in faction for that. Good. Yes. Group up. Make it easier for us. Already at 2k. We have earned 93,225, 227 action on my account. That's cool. It totals it up like that. Oh, he does. Uh, he just uses energy drain. Okay. That's good. I want to get a ritualist, uh, at least go anyway. Anyway. we got here Ooh, these salt spray dragons are really tough though they do so much damage and there's a, a le elementalist boss okay okay they're grouped up they're grouped up um start with arcane oh no no let's wait till they group up again come on group up and now this this team up here is kind of getting a little too close. Back up, back up, back up. I definitely don't want to fight all of them. 
There they go. They reconvene. Nuke them. Yeah. Oh, they interrupted me. Dang it. Okay, retreat. Retreat. Oh my gosh. You guys need to back. Oh no. All right. This is not going well. All right, restart. <laughs> that was a really bad area to fight, and I got a me. I got immediately, um, what do you call it? Knocked down or interrupted? Huh. Might need to have a tank actually. Let's drop the interrupt henchman for, uh, the. Silverwing or Guardian. I think he's got some knockdowns. So combined with the Earth Elementalist or the yeah, the Earth henchman, he should have some decent knockdowns. Oh anyway, I'm not gonna go that way. Oh yeah, I need to never mind. Let's try it again. All right, we're back where we were. Let's try this again. Hopefully our our uh, guardian henchman will take the brunt of this damage. Nope. I think this is gonna be impossible. I'm trying to nuke them a little bit though. All right, we're going, we're going. These salt spray dragons are the problem. You're just doing way too much damage. All right, we got it. We got it. Second try is the charm. Having a having a tank up and close actually helps distribute some of their aggro away from our party, our squishy backline. Man, this boss this takes a beating. Doesn't die. Oh, we aggroed another enemy camp. That's the problem. Okay. And we come back alive. We have a healer. We have protection and spirit. Our, our healers are still alive. Oh, he had, like, no energy to steal. That was the problem. Ooh. Wow, we were, like, the brink of wiping there. Funny, I don't take any aggro. It's like the enemies just ignore me. I don't think... I don't think they damaged me at all. It was weird. Fortunately, I don't have an elementalist... Uh, as my secondary, so I'm not going to be able to capture that skill, but I can come up here and go around and I can get to this uh, quests thingy person. That was rough. I had to restart because of that boss. Oh yeah, group up. Yes. Oh, ritualist. Heck yeah. I'm gonna get my ritualist skill. Awesome. I'm glad we came this way. Whoa, there's the damage. Let's take out these warriors, I guess. They're messing up my back line. Oh, they're, my, my team is just a little too weak from that last battle. All that death penalty they must have. Meanwhile, I'm rocking the six morale boost. There we go. Grasping was Kurong. Hold Kurong's ashes for up to 15 seconds. When you drop his ashes, all nearby foes are struck for 15 damage and knocked down. 
Man, that's almost worth it just for the knockdown, isn't it? I'm gonna try it whenever warriors come at me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it on their heads. Knock them down. Ooh, wow, we're already at 3k. Faction. That's a cool, that's a really cool elite skill. We take we take damage up here. Look at that. Oh, that's so annoying. The Guild Wars level design has an illusion of higher uh levels, but effects like that are kind of annoying. There's coral way down there, but if I walk across it on the bridge, it affects me with the spiked coral. You see that? So in their level design, they just made it a anything above it's like gets gets that uh, effect on them that's kind of kind of lame all right let's use it on these guys 15 seconds where's the other all right just drop it there we go <laughs> that's fun all right that shatter stone is going to be a problem let's keep Keep their energy down. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right, this was a rough area, but we made it to this person. Uh, and we made it to the Jade Flats. Cool, we got a new area. Reaver Tamox. What do you got for us? And there's a collector here. What does he got for us? Um, ooh, a 2020 domination uh, offhand. That's cool. You need a strong back and a strong spirit to take this frozen sea of jade. Thought they were Kurzix. Kurzix hitting us all the time, but finally killed one of them and it was no Kurzix. It was a Naga. That must be led by Zerus Stickleback. Ah, oh, I hate that guy. All right, let's take him out. Where is he at? Oh, he's all the way over there. Backtracking a little bit. Might speed this up. Oh, our, our guardian kind of stopped them so they can get to us. Oh, I used Arcane Echo on this thing. It's okay. It's kind of cool. You get double the knockdowns. With Arcane Echo, you could just spam this over and over, actually. Relatively over and over. It's good to know. It's a pretty big radius, all nearby foes. Like that's not that's not adjacent. That's near nearby. I feel like it should do all foes in the area, but what can you do? Ooh, we got some. We got a uh, major rune of vigor, did we? Could it be? No, it's not. Getting lots of enemies over here, and it looks like. Oh no! This is the uh, this is the monk boss we already fought before. I'm trying to get where I, I can see. I'm not blinded by the foliage here. Kind of nice, that little quick knockdown. Let's 
Okay, I'm gonna switch targets to this ritualist. I'm gonna take him out. Like not even ooh monstrous call. Not even really attacking anyone, You're just running around. Okay. Get him. Let's go ahead and clear out this area of ads because I don't know what they're going to do. And it's a boss anyways. So extra 125. Action. Ooh, they triggered him. Little cheeky knock down there. Like, okay. I'm gonna say he's like no energy. Well, I'm actually taking some aggro this time. Good, good, good. I like that. Anytime you see that hundred um, damage spike, it's from Mind Rack. A little bit difficult to trigger it, but against enemies that have low energy regeneration or low energy um, total energy, it usually triggers and it does a hundred damage. Big, big spike. All right, Zerus Stickleback, what kind of enemy are you? A necromancer. Ah, uh, if we kill him, he'll never come back, right? What skill does he have? I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna break my rule a little bit. Not to be confused with Nickelback. It's stick. Oh, he's got he's got Discord. All right, we already got it. No longer concerned. You're gonna pay for this Nickelback. Ooh, something's doing tons of damage. I guess it's these guys. I need to make sure I keep empathy on them. There we go. I should do it. First quest is done. Head of Zero Stickleback. Very cool. So we need to turn it into... Bring Tawaj Zing the head. Where's he at? Huh? Oh, I need to go to Maishang Hills. I guess we can go to just... Oh, I need to go back. I don't want to miss the Jade Quarry. Might as well go back there. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna backtrack real quick to Jade Quarry. Okay. Back at the Jade Flats. Okay, not Jade Quarry, Jade Flats. This should be a... Um... Outpost. Right? Yes. Yes, it is. What do we got here? Nothing? Oh, and the Jade Quarry is here. I guess we can go ahead and turn this in. I've got a quest. 3,000 experience. Not nothing. So we've been to both of the PvP outposts. The other one was called Aspenwood, and now this is Jade Quarry. Who do we talk to, though? A wreck. Players here. Alright, 3,000 experience. Alright, what's next? Next is... Um, Attack the Kurzix and Challenge of Strength. They're both in the same area. Night Riders is also over there, so we can turn that in and we can do two more quests. All right. Oh, why? Oh, we lost them because we were in that area. Let's get them back. Is it just me or are the henchmen kind of like changing 
I think they're changing order. I believe they are. Let's go just damage. Yeah. I'm gonna bring the assassin and the warrior. Alright, so I need to go out the north exit. Not gonna use this anymore. Let's just keep rocking energy surge. And I'm going to Um what should I bring? Doesn't really matter at this point. We've captured everything. I can get a new assassin. Let's let's see if we can find an assassin. Uh probably isn't one, but just in case. The only assassin elite skill I have is the uh assassin's promise. Mm -hmm. Not the it's not the best skill for an assassin hero, I don't think. Him. Seems our Kurzik friends, and by friends I mean enemies, have sent extra troops our way. Oh, we need to defend. Okay. Uh, let me get this first. And I think this is a... This is a really good... This is a list of... Oh no, it's a ranger. 50 maximum health. 20 damage against elemental damage or armor. Um, Earth magic. Shielding or health? Ooh. Let's go with the shielding. That sounds good. Okay, so we're doing attack the Kurzix. Destroy the forces. Nine groups remaining. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get into our dancing formation. Minion Master would have been nice here. All right, knock it off. Let's fight. Look at that damage. Boom. Assassins. As long as assassins don't have energy, they do a minimal amount of damage also, so... Energy drains really good against assassins, I think. Oh, what's going on back here? What the heck? Why are they attacking all the way over here? Wow, they totally wiped out our... Oh my gosh. Is that supposed to happen or is that part of a different quest? That's weird, isn't it? Oh no, it is part of the same quest. Weird, so why are we set up so far away? Huh. Guys, help Kim. Don't let him die. Good. Nice save, everyone. No. He died. Did we lose? No, we don't lose. He's not important, I guess. I don't like this kind of running around here. Not the merchant. Leave him alone, you bullies. You're getting a double chaos storm now for that. Gosh, total nukage. Take him out. There we go. Or is it Juggernaut? Oh my gosh, this is like a legit, this is a legit quest. Good. See that 48. Why did it only do 48 actually? That's weird. You must not have had enough energy.
is tough. This is a legit difficult mission. We're getting attacked on both sides now. I mean, the they took out my favorite Luxon merchant. I'll avenge you. No. It's always nice to cast Mind Rack uh, before using these inspiration skills because it just makes it adds an extra damage and it adds extra energy drain to them. So it's like gives them a, a additional energy. All right, is that the last one? One single ranger. What are you gonna do? One more left. One more. The boss, General Vasberg. Oh, he's a warrior. Oh, I should have brought a warrior elite skill. What's he using? I'm not seeing any elite skill actually. Maybe he doesn't have one. Maku, what are you doing? All right, let's switch switch targets. This is not working. Let's go after the casters. I guess they wanted us to target him. Get a 25, 125 bonus for that. And yeah, we can't see him. Yeah, he doesn't have any elite skill. Is that it? Completed. Yay. We can go to Cavalon for that. Let's do Challenge of Strength now, which is just a little bit ways over here. Luckily, this Blessing of the Kurzix doesn't wear off because we can... Uh, we don't need to, like... That, that priest passed away, so we don't need to worry about it. What is this one? Um... My boys just trapped a mob of elder, ancient elder Naga. I want to turn them loose for target practice. You look like, that doesn't sound good. Let's do some double chaos storm action. Massive damage, just absolutely. Disgusting damage there. Good. We went the correct build for this, I think. The unstoppable nuke build. When in doubt, as a messmer, when in doubt, you don't know what to go, just go e search. All right, that's another. What is that? 1500 action. The last one. Oh. We have to take it all the way up there. Okay, we're not done yet. This is worth. I feel like this should be worth more faction. It's it's required us to backtrack so much. And then the place to turn it in is not even an outpost. That's back at Cavalon. That's back at Cavalon. That's up here. Two more after this. And I'm sitting at 4,000 uh, faction now. Oh, I hope he drops the green item. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, no. This is the Necromancer. I thought it was the warrior. Oh, we kind of over aggroed here, didn't we? Are we going to be okay? Yes. We do massive damage. Of course we're going to be okay. Uh, 
Got the nice uh, skill recharge for the boss going down. Now it's just easy pickings. All right, rune of major or rune of minor vigor. No, ooh, domination one though. That's really. Isn't that one really expensive? Maybe not. I'm thinking of something else. It would, be, it would be great if we found like an inspiration one or a fast casting one. Those are expensive. Everyone's got their mesmer heroes ruined out to the max. Can I go up this way? It looks like it. Yeah. So. Friend of the Luxons. Looks like we still need like 30k. My math's correct. Which it usually is not. Eridon Terrace. I think that's, I think that's another outpost. So I can grab that outpost while I'm out up here. Oh, he's down here. Oh, come on. These guys just have n nothing on us. No damage. Zero ability to scare us. And my survivor is almost... I just need like... What is that? 13,000? More experience? I might get it from turning in these quests actually. Survivor rank 1. That's pretty cool. I'm not even a trying to do it. But that just means we're... We're... Guild warding, guild warsing really hard. Accidental survivor. All right, three thousand experience, Lux infection. Now that I see this, I know the Lux are sincere. You never know, can tell with provincials. Oh, so this was a quest for the Kanang city. Nice. Here we go. And we just need ten thousand more experience for that. All right, let's go up to Eridon Terrace and get this. This might be the last outpost. And I'm guessing there's at least one quest there. That's pretty cool. That would be cool. All right. Oh, no. We're already there. Oh, there's a, there is a quest here. Scoutmaster Theron. Lux in 400. Kurzik Scouts. This might be a repeatable one, actually. Yeah, I feel like I did this quest already, didn't I? Scouting? Oh. So some of the quests, I think, are repeatable, like that one. Just... Oh, they're fighting out there. Um, just merchant skills. Nothing interesting here. It'd be cool if the henchman, the hireable henchman changed depending on if it was controlled by the Kurziks or, or the Luxons. Like right now it's controlled by the Kurziks, but it still has all the Luxon, Luxon henchmen to choose from. Seems like they should change depending on who controls it, but whatever. Looks like this changes depending on who controls it. Yeah, so only the alliance that captured this place can go in there. Okay, anyway, I'm wasting time. Let's go back to Cavalon, turn in these quests. 
and see how close we are to it. What's that? Where's the other one? The other one's up here. How close are we? 6,000. A little over 6,000 faction. That's not going to do it. Man. I need to get more faction, in my opinion. Let's see. So if I cash this in, I can get some more jadeite shards. See what we're see what we're working with here. So now I'm at 70. So I need exactly 30,000 faction. Dang. Alright, I might... Like, even if I do these two, that's only that's only 1,500. And one of them's way down here. The other one doesn't seem that far. It looks like it's over here. Yeah, let me just check this out real quick. We're as close as I think it is. It says the beach, so maybe... Yeah, it's just right over here. Yeah, here's another repeatable quest. This is the one we did. 2,000 experience deluxe infection. Patrols. Yeah. Sounds... Inkai. Where's the other one? Oh, so if you leave the area, it disappears because that other one disappeared. 2,000 experience, 400 repeatable faction. That's pretty good. That's not bad. All right, where is the cowbell? Oh, I need to open up these blue oysters. Oh my gosh, I just got the reference. Blue oyster cult. Don't fear the reaper. Need more cowbells. Oh my gosh, that's so... <laughs> That's funny. Uh, it just hit me. Oh, a warrior. We can capture this one really quick. What's she got? Looks like a hammer elite skill. That's so funny. I see what they did there. Don't fear the reaper. So this must have come out. No, I think the cowbell skip from SNL was still pretty old when this came out, no? Oh yeah, we can't see it. You could just farm this boss actually over and over. Look at that, we're already up 1700. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, where is it? Am I going to have to actually read what I have to do? Um, why can't I find it? Oh, there's one over here. Of course. And there's one over there, too. Yeah, it wouldn't make sense if it's the closest one. Anaku is doing some damage. Dang, I've got... I had dazed on me there. I wasn't able to get off any skills. Okay. This has got to be it. It's near the enemies. Oh. We're still fighting?
Interesting. That's that element, uh, ritualist elite skill that I capped. Alright, you guys fight him. I'm gonna go over this one. Gotta be this one, right? And that should give us the survival. There we go. Nice. Now, who do we talk to? He. In Breaker Hollow? Yeah, he was in Breaker Hollow, right? Man, all of these outposts are controlled by Kurzix. Well, I couldn't farm that boss anyway because there's no Lux in Priest. Well, look at that. Survivor track. Oh, I'm like so close to it. Anyway. 2,400 faction. We are... 28,000 short, but this is this looks like a pretty good spot to stop. We did like three or four quests. Oh, those Kurzix freaked me out. Did like three or four quests. We might do one more uh, round of quests and farming to get to the 28,000, but yeah, I'll stop it here. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Hopefully, we can get that PB uh, Kurzix skill for next episode, but uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always big thank you, thank you. Uh, if you're enjoying this, if you come this far. I'd be curious to know how many people came from the Prophecies start, uh, playlist start. Uh, looks, like we've, looks like we've been getting some new subscribers uh, joining in in this Factions playthrough. But yeah, if you, if you, if you want to see some nostalgic Guild Wars action, I recommend going back to the where it all started the prophecies playlist i think it's it's pretty good pretty satisfying anyway that's enough of that catch you later bye